A UTA bus driver now recovering after being assaulted by a man on Tuesday night. South Salt Lake police have arrested a 25-year-old suspect in connection with the assault. Fox 13 News reporter Darian DeBrule spoke with the bus driver who talks about the terrifying moment. I spent a year and a half in the, uh, we call it the green zone or the international zone in Iraq in the army. You know, nothing like this happened to me, but I get home to my home country and here I am assaulted. Neil Waymura has been a bus driver for seven years. He served in the military for 20 years before that. But on Tuesday night, something he never thought would happen did. I noticed that there was an individual at the southern end of the track station is acting kind of strangely. Then uh, we locked eyes and I thought this can't be good. And he starts approaching me and he's asking uh, all the while, uh, where are you from? Where are you from? And before I know it, he's choking me. The suspect continued to kick and punch Waymura in the face and ribs, resulting in serious injuries. So all that trauma caused my left eardrum to be ruptured. I do have a scratch on my cornea and I have a laceration about that big on the, on the back of my head that required six staples just to close it up. Investigators have not yet determined a motive in Waymura's case, but Waymura believes he may have been targeted because of his race. But I didn't put it together until I got to the hospital why this guy's asking me where I'm from. I said, I'm from Salt Lake, I'm from here. I realized, oh, he means what country are you from? I'm thinking this is more or less a hate crime. Unfortunately, Waymura is not the only one to experience this. Violence against bus operators is growing. It became very noticeable during COVID that we saw more uh, incidents involving bus operators. And it wasn't just UTA, it was throughout the entire United States. Yeah, I've heard of other drivers who've been assaulted. Of course, we had the driver about a month ago. I think like any job, we're just kind of prone, uh, no matter if you're a bus driver or a clerk at a 7-Eleven working the midnight shift. Waymura plans to return behind the wheel, but he says he will be more vigilant going forward. Just be prepared. Um, I used to carry pepper spray on me, which I didn't have on me at the time, but I'm thinking in the future, I'll always just look over your shoulder, especially if you're in a dark area. UTA says they will continue to support Waymura through his recovery. They also said they're going to continue to work alongside the DA's office in helping them with this investigation. In Mill Creek, I'm Darian DeBrule, Fox 13 News, Utah.